Hello and greetings from percentilers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 32nd video of the LRDI challenge CAT 2020. Name of the set is number matrix. Please have a look. And there is that matrix also in the next slide, which is this. All right. So you must have read the question and hopefully tried your bit. So let us now try to solve and figure out as many numbers as we can against these letters. So one thing that was given in the question is that D plus E I is going to be 60. Now if you see closely that in the matrix, the smallest number mentioned is 13. The largest number mentioned is 28. If you observe, don't you think these are the 16 consecutive numbers that are being talked about? In the question 13 to 28 are exact 16 consecutive integers so we know that these are the numbers we have to just find out which letter represents what number in the matrix so 13 is already given and 28 is already given so the remaining numbers which are to be found the 12 numbers i have mentioned here in a table that you can see on the left so as we keep finding out the letter against each number we'll keep writing on the right hand side the second column of the table okay but first of all we have an urgent need to figure out that sum which is going to be constant for each row each column and each die now there are two logics to figure out that sum so if you see that when the numbers are consecutive that means they make an ap there is a property of ap that if you add the smallest number and the largest number the sum that you get it will be the sum for each pair so smallest plus largest the second smallest second largest third smallest third largest fourth smallest fourth largest all these pairs are going to give you the same sum now when we look at the design of the question we understand that here there are too many groups of four numbers each which are supposed to give the same sum so don't we think that this property is of utmost importance over here now a pair gives a sum of 41 here and we have to figure out the sum of four numbers so don't we think that is going to be 82 now this is a great logic which gets us the sum in the least possible time but i know that a lot of you might not be able to buy this logic at this point of time but you will so you may take some time think about it pause the video and then resume while i'll also tell you that there is an alternative logic also which will help you understand that why the sum has to be 82 so if you see that the top row 13 plus a plus b plus 16 is going to be that sum and the bottom row 25 plus k plus l plus 28 is also going to be the same sum so soon you realize that a plus b this pair is going to be as big as when 24 added to the other pair k plus l now look at the range of numbers that we have lying right now so the smallest number is 14 and the largest is 27 and we have a pair here and a pair on the right hand side also so don't you think that it's either 11 plus 13 added to a plus l in some order or 12 and 12 added to k and l so as to make a and b so very soon we realize that smallest numbers which are unknown right now 14 and 15 are going to be a and l in some order so i'm writing ambiguously and the last two numbers unknown right now 26 and 27 are going to be a and b in some order so we are sure that k plus l is going to be 29 and a plus b is going to be 53 now if you put a plus b in the top row or k plus l in the bottom row this way also you get that the sum of each row and each column and each diagonal is going to be 82 fine so we have so we have found the sum 82 by both the logics now let us have a look at the diagonals so diagonals also we know the corners so we know two out of four numbers in each diagonal so when we look at the diagonal 13 d i and 28 so the corner numbers make a sum of 41 which tells me that d plus i is going to be 41 and just a while ago we wrote the information given in the question that d plus e plus i is 60 which tells us that e is nothing but 19 so if e is 19 let us look at the other diagonal 25 plus h plus e plus 16 so out of 82 we already have 41 and 19 which is 60 which tells me that h is supposed to be 22 fine so so far we have been successful in getting two letters two numbers so let me register it over here so e is going to be 19 and h is going to be 22 let us try to find out other numbers as well so again coming back to the pairs of ab <coughs> and kl we'll try to find out either d or e in the first place because if we find out d will immediately be able to find out i so if we talk about column adhk we know 22 and we know the sum is going to be 82 that means a plus d plus k or i should write a plus k plus d is going to be 60 now you know a plus k can be minimum 40 or 41 or 42 is the maximum if you take a as 27 and k as 15 the larger ones then the sum becomes 42 or if you take the smaller ones a as 14 and a as 26 then the sum becomes 40 so accordingly the values of possible corresponding values of d would become 20 19 and 18 so clearly 19 is not possible because 19 has been already taken by e let us check for 
20 or 8. So let us talk about when D is 20, then A plus K have to be 40. And there is only one possibility that A becomes 26, K becomes 14. Accordingly, B will become 27 and L will become 15. Okay. Since D is known, I is also known because D plus I is supposed to be 41. If we look at the other column, B, E, I, L, that also becomes 82. All right. Fair enough. So if D is 20 and I is 21, let us try to figure out what C and F are going. So hypothetically, let us uh, mention these values. So D is taken. A, B, K, L have already been taken. I has been taken as 21. Okay, now only four numbers are left. 17, 18, 23, and 20. Fair enough. And C and F accordingly will have to become since D is 20. So 39 plus 43. So C and F have to become 43. So there were only two possibilities of C and F to become 43. Either it was 20 and 23, which is not possible because 20 has been taken or it would have been 19 plus 24. There is no other pair and 19 has already been taken also. So this is also not possible. So hence we can now discard the entire setup of D being 20. So this pair is also gone and so is this arrangement. So now at least we know a value, the value of D which is 18 since D plus H are making 40. So A plus K have to make 42, which is only possible when you take the higher values of A and K in the pairs of 26, 27 and 14, 15. Accordingly, L will become 14 and B will become 26. We'll also be able to find out I either way. This is going to be 23. So let us fill out the numbers. So D is 18. I is 23. We have four numbers left and we have four letters left. 17 20 21 and 24 so we know that c plus f will become since we already have 37 to make the sum of 82 we have to make c plus f as 45 and there is only one way out to make 45 which is 21 plus 24 so we know that one between c and f is going to be 21 and the other is 24 okay similarly we also know that c plus g is going to be 44 so since c can be 21 in that way g is supposed to be 23 which is not possible so i think we got a confirmed value of c which is 24 and a confirmed value of f also so it's f which is 21 it is c which is 24 okay so c is 24 f is 21 and if c is 24 g is supposed to be 20 so we know the value of g also so g is 20 c is 24 f is 21 and there is only one number left which is j which is going to be 70 since this was the rough work i know the table has become very messy for you so to make it look neat and clean when we look at the questions i already have the table made for you ready for reference so we have no ambiguity we have exact values of all the letters unique values let us look at the first two questions first how many numbers in the given matrix are numerically greater than the number denoted by c we know that the number denoted by c is 24 and our range of numbers was 13 to 28 so how many numbers are greater than 24 there are four numbers greater than 20 find the numerical value of a plus i minus b plus h okay so a i a is 27 i is 23 so a plus i makes 50 and b plus h b is 26 h is 22 48 minus we have to first option again all right third looks like a long question if we were to construct another four by four square matrix containing 16 consecutive natural numbers with the same properties which of the following could be the sum of the numbers in any one of the row okay so so when you know that there are 16 numbers written in the row the middle four numbers which would be consecutive uh, which would be like suppose x minus 1 x x plus 1 and x plus 2 their sum will be the sum of each row each column and each diagonal which gives us the sum 4x plus 2 now if you equate each of these numbers as 4x plus 2 there is only one one option which will give you x as the integer and which is the fourth option another logic of doing this is we saw that in our actual set when we added the smallest and the largest numbers and doubled them we got that sum okay so if there are even number of and we add the smallest and the largest number then second smallest second largest third smallest third largest and there will be eighth and ninth number in between whose sum will also the same so if you actually divide each number each option by two what do you get let us see so we get 85 here we get 84 here get 72 here and we get 58 here now none of the first three options can be the sum of two consecutive integers because the sum of two consecutive integers has to be odd in the first place which is only possible in the fourth option 42 plus 43 
is going to make 85 so the fourth option becomes the answer by these two logics actually both the logics are same so that was actually why i was trying to tell you arithmetic progression logic to solve the matrix so fourth option becomes the answer to the question fourth and the last question is find out how many pairs of numbers given in this matrix such that both the numbers in the pair belong to either the same row or the same column or the same diagonal and the absolute difference between the numbers is not less than 12 so 12 or above a difference of 12 or above will be okay so so let us check the columns first in the first column the smallest number is 13 and the largest is 25 so definitely we have one pair and only one so one pair here second column the smallest number is 15 the largest number is 27 the difference between these two is also 12 pair over here third column if we see the smallest number is 14 and the largest number is 26 one pair here as well and if you see the last column again there is one and only one pair so four pairs we got in the columns let us see in the rows first row the smallest number is 13 and the largest number is 27 so we have definitely one and two two pairs so which are 13 and 27 and 13 and 26 no pair for 16 second column if you see the smallest number is 18 and the largest number is 24 so no chance over here zero third row if you see the smallest number is 17 and the largest number is 23 again no chance and in the fourth row if you see the smallest number is 14 and the largest number is 28 definitely there is one pair 14 28 and the other pair is 15 28 two pairs we got from here also so far we have got eight pairs now only two diagonals to be checked let us see first diagonal 13 18 23 28 the first diagonal we have smallest number 13 and the largest number 28 but here we have only one pair which is 13 and 28 let us look at the other diagonal also and our job is so the smallest number 16 and the largest number 25 no chance so two two one 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 five times so nine pairs are so counting and attention to detail was the skill tested by this question arithmetic progression was the was the still critic progressions properties was the skill tested by the third question and the first two questions were direct mark after you solve the matrix so that would be all for this set from my side thank you so much for watching patiently and i hope you learned something from this set guys if you really like our selection of questions and our way of explanation then please do subscribe to our channel to do that you can just click on the link which is showing right away thank you so much this is mayank signing off